very, very important for our time to look at the basic writings that have founded our civilization. We feel that there's a need for genuine education. A course like this opens up the spirit to be able to think in a creative, um, insightful, imaginative and spiritual way. We are born with body, soul and spirit, so we need to nurture every aspect of that, not just the extremely rational and empirical scientific side. The whole inner life of the human being seems to be caught up more and more with treating other things in the environment, whether they're alive or dead, as purely instrumental to our own ends. That's the thing which I feel can undermine what it really means to live a human life. The difficulty now, I think, and that's where Temenos comes in, I think, is to remind us of, of where we've come from and that uh, we need to balance the, the intuitive aspect of our humanity with our rational, practical, material ability. We want to have a course which is going to look at the foundations of human knowledge and creativity. And so we're offering a course which is going to explore philosophy, poetry, the imagination, to learn not just about these things, but actually to explore them, to take them inside, and perhaps to begin being transformed by them also. The uh, one year of study tries to encompass almost everything, but in, in the most direct and simple way. So it begins with a study of Plato and Plotinus, which is absolutely essential for studying further parts of our culture. And we move from there to uh, an insight into the Middle Ages through the study of Dante, who in a way captures the whole of the thought of the Middle Ages uh, through art. And then to one of the great mystics of the Middle Ages, Meister Eckhart, who is tremendously important insofar as he brings together all the different strands of the history of Christianity, of Platonism, Aristotle, into a form of mysticism which is at once wholly transcendent and yet completely immediate. Through exposure to, the, to these great works, I think that we are actually put in touch with a level of our, our own humanity which we wouldn't actually come into contact with so easily. Plato wasn't in fact concerned with teaching people the right way but more with opening up a way of questioning, um, opening up a way of contemplating and a way of attuning the mind as it were to a certain philosophical attitude in which we could learn to attend to wisdom and to what wisdom might offer. Dante is the perfect representative of the visionary imagination, which is the imagination that goes beyond simply subjective fantasy and actually has an objective content to it and really penetrates into the nature of things which cannot be seen by the physical eye. Lastly, we come to the Bhagavad Gita, which is in a way stepping outside Western culture, but one could say that the Bhagavad Gita is possibly one of the most universal writings that speaks to all cultures. Each term you will be expected to write or asked to write an essay. This essay is not um, obligatory, but um, we find that if people are reading and attending seminars, you begin to understand a subject much more fully and more profoundly if you actually have to write about it. In a very simple way, I think they'll get from it a world or a, a universe which is not the world of the universe that is being represented in modern culture in its reductionist outlook. We need to prepare for the future, especially in relation to the development of modern technology and the increasing intimacy and, in a way, intense involvement with technology. I think there's a real danger for the human being that we are pulled away from what's essentially human. 
not just the ability to think freely and to think for yourself, which is extraordinarily important, but also the ability to ponder on more mysterious things, to consider mysterious things, and to be aware of the social and cultural conditioning that is actually not being spoken of and attended to. We seem to be living in a time when we're actually forgetting our roots. The West is forgetting its roots, almost as if it had no roots anymore. Tunlos is like a lighthouse, I think. It shines a light which uh, hopefully guides people towards uh, deeper truth. Something that's important about Temenos, I think, is that there are very many people out there who feel on their own, who feel isolated, that perhaps they're the only person who is thinking in this way. What Temenos does, amongst other things, is to bring such people together so that they can communicate, share ideas, explore one another's discoveries. Um, it is gradually forming a community. Having raised our standard, people who heard our message have come to us in increasing numbers. And I think that we have a voice that has been heard. And, of course, our patron is Prince Charles, many of whose ideas we strongly share. Perhaps your daughter, she was wonderful. She was such a marvellous um, sort of supporter and encourager, you know. She always said that I was involved in the great battle. And um, so she used to write me a wonderful sort of you know, stiffening letters of resolve and so, when things were getting very difficult. But I, I then discovered, of course, what a, what a, a very special group of people uh, Terminos was. And, and I suppose I'd always actually been drawn to that whole aspect of perennial wisdom and knowledge, which has been built up over thousands and thousands of years of experience and meditation, spiritual awareness, that's where it all comes from, which people decry now, but actually people, I think, were discovering these things through another dimension altogether. The wonderful people who were part of Temenos helped to remind us of things that are of truth <laughs> and reality in a, in, a, in a world that sees no point in that. I feel very much that the West has made a great contribution to uniting the world in the use of factual information which has produced the possibility of telephones and email. But I feel it has reached a limit and the world now has to consider what, with these immense possibilities of communication, we are going to communicate. And there I think we have to look deeper into the sanatana dharma, the eternal truths of wisdom, not merely of fact, information. Meanings and values have nothing to do with information and fact, but have everything to do with human civilization. Mm -hmm.